Scanning is just so yesterday. Hello, I hope you're doing all right. I'm Nerdabetic. And if you are a regular around here, you know that every single month I post a video called Diabetes Tech Report, where I talk about all of the newest announcements in diabetes technology. Well, in September, by far the biggest news is the brand new Freestyle Libre Free. And that is what we are going to be talking about today. I'm also going to cover all of the other stuff at the end, but by far, 90% of this video is dedicated to Freestyle Libre Free. So if you want to learn everything about it, just ideally at home, <laughs> get a drink, sit down, and let's enjoy. Okay, Freestyle Libre Free. I wanted to start by talking about something that not a lot of people on the internet have been appreciating about Libre Free, but I am like the most excited about really, which is the size difference. This is a mock-up of Freestyle Libre Free that my dad and I built, uh, made from an old Freestyle Libre. And this is Freestyle Libre 1 or 2 because the first two generations had the same size. Freestyle Libre 3 is 70% smaller compared to the regular Libre in terms of volume. It is significantly smaller. It's teeny, 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 teeny tiny. Freestyle Libre 3 is a real-time continuous glucose monitor which transmits your blood glucose trend and value to the brand new Freestyle Libre 3 app. It basically works just like Dexcom G6 or Eversense or any of the real-time CGMs that we have around. So, because it transmits in real-time, there is no more scanning. Scanning is gone. Scanning is so like pre-COVID, you know, those days. It's like, forget it. It's gone. Um, so you just get your CGM in the real time on the phone. Um, just like Abbott had with their navigator system. Do you remember those days? I don't because I wasn't diagnosed with type 1. But if you do, then it's a bit of a throwback to the navigator system. Abbott has confirmed that Libre 3 was designed to be interoperable and work with automated insulin dosing systems. So as we know, Abbott has an ongoing partnership with Tandem to integrate Freestyle Libre with Tandem's Control IQ algorithm, which is available on the T-Slim X2 insulin pump. Well, Freestyle Libre 3 as well will be integrated into Tandem's insulin pump. On a similar note, Omnipod um, Horizon, the Omnipod 5, powered by Horizon closed loop system that Omnipod is working on. This system will also work with the brand new Freestyle Libre 3 when approved. Freestyle Libre 3 has the same 9.2% mod in terms of accuracy. It's just as accurate as Freestyle Libre 2 or the 14 day um, system in the US. Freestyle Libre 3 does not have a physical reader or physical receiver. It just works with the brand new Freestyle Libre 3 app. So the first generation of Libre obviously had the reader and you also could use the Libre Link app. The second generation also had a reader, but the third generation they got rid of um, the reader altogether and it just going to work with uh, their Freestyle Libre free app. Now I do say brand new Freestyle Libre free app, it's actually the same app as Freestyle Libre 1 and 2, they just wrote free after the word Freestyle Libre groundbreaking. I actually do wish they redesigned the app, I'm going to be honest, this is just my opinion. I'm not a big fan of how they have their X and Y axes laid out. I just think when you look at the graph, it just looks really confusing when you try to look at your last 24 hours. Uh, if you are using a Freestyle Libre, please do let me know if you have the same opinion down in the video description. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big fan, so I wish they redesigned that bit, but it's the same app just it fully works with Bluetooth and it obviously transmits uh, data in real time so there's obviously no need for scanning. Um, so as soon as you open it, you have your glucose level and everything like that on there already. Okay, my heart rate is going up and that's not ideal. Freestyle Libre 3, just like Libre 2 and Libre 1, has a 60 minute warm up time and 14 day sensor life. So you can use your sensor for 14 days. Another thing that's the same about Libre 3 is the price. Freestyle Libre 3 sensor 
costs exactly the same as a Freestyle Libre 1 or Libre 2, which in the UK is £50 per sensor, and you need two of those a month, so it's £100 to get real-time CGM. Now, there is a significant price drop in the real-time CGM uh, market, because in the UK, Dexcom G6 is £160, and there are other Challenger CGMs out now um, at around £130, £150 price range. Another thing about Libre 3 that I want to talk about is the environmental considerations. Um, so CGM applicators make up a lot of plastic and it is becoming a real problem. And Freestyle Libre 3 um, uses 43% less plastic and 41% less paper compared to Libre 1 or 2. Obviously, because the sensor is so much smaller, the entire applicator is so much smaller and the box that it's in is so much smaller, uh, which causes this um, significant improvement on the carbon footprint of a CGM. Now, for those of you who watched my Freestyle Libre 2 review, and I'm going to post it up here as well and at the end of the video, I describe Libre 2 as the S series of the iPhone kind of upgrade. And what I mean by that, well, uh, a lot of you know, I'm sure, uh, Apple always releases a big update to the iPhone, like the iPhone 6, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 10. And then a year later, they um, keep a lot of the same features, they add a couple of extra features to refresh the product, but basically it's, it's a very similar device. So like the iPhone 6s, iPhone uh, 10s, etc. Well, the Freestyle Libre 3 is definitely not an S upgrade, it is the major cycle update. Um, because it's completely different, there is no reader, and finally we have real-time CGM um, capabilities in the Libre. Now, speaking of videos, obviously, as soon as I get my hands on the Freestyle Libre 3, um, I will do a comprehensive video review about it. Now, when is that going to be? Well, Freestyle Libre 3 will be launching in Europe in the coming months. Specific country um, launches have not been announced yet. As soon as they are announced, I will obviously be discussing them in my monthly diabetes technology report. So please make sure you are subscribed to make sure uh, you are up to date on when Libre 3 is launching in your country. Um, now, in terms of the UK, I'm not estimating Freestyle Libre 3 to be coming here anytime soon, simply because Freestyle Libre 2 hasn't even been launched in the UK. Um, but um, we'll see when it's launched first. In terms of outside of Europe launches, I'm sure Abbott has the wrong timeline. In terms of US, just like I said um, uh, two months ago in my uh, video, um, Abbott has a clinical trial ongoing in the US for Freestyle Libre 3. That clinical trial will finish in December of 2020. And um, so they can use that to file for FDA clearance. So my estimates, they, we can probably expect Libre 3 in the US at some point in 2021. Um, now, I'm not expecting any delays on that trial for the simple reason that Abbott really knows how to um, handle this um, COVID pandemic clinical trial situation. Normally you would have a lot of delays when it comes to these things, but Abbott I think is, has a significant advantage because they have this hugely um, efficient and successful um, COVID testing business division. So for those of you who don't know, Abbott, the company actually makes COVID-19 tests, which are used to verify wherever uh, someone is positive or negative in terms of COVID. So as an organization, they really know how to thrive and how to continue their operations as normal during this time. So I think it's kind of impressive that they managed to pull out Libre 3 in the middle of all of this and it didn't really impact their timeline. Okay, Freestyle Libre 3 is fully covered. Um, now let's talk about more news from September. EASD happened, a couple of stories from EASD. So um, obviously it was heard virtually uh, this year. Um, Inchlet announced they are expanding the Omnipod Dash to more countries all over Europe. Medtronic announced an update to the Guardian CGM, the Guardian 4, which will be um, compatible with the brand new pump from Medtronic, the 780G Hybrid Closed Loop, which is coming to Europe. 
And lastly, just a quick reminder, it's that time of the year again. Uh, the DQ&A survey will be coming out shortly. DQ&A is all about collecting um, our viewpoints about uh, solutions on the market. If you want to learn more, uh, feel free to check the link in the video description. So that's that. What an exciting month it's been. I guess a lot of you have been waiting for the Freestyle Libre free. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Are you going to get the Freestyle Libre free when it's available? Are you not? Do let me know everything that you're thinking about it in the comments below. I'm really curious. And yeah, please make sure you subscribe and um, stay tuned for more videos about diabetes tech from me. And um, for now, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're staying safe. And um, yeah, I hope you're having a, a good time. Um, so stay safe. Stay safe. All the best. Bye.